All right, what's going on everyone? Back with the, another race to look at, the grade three Louisiana stakes for four-year-olds going a mile and 116 there at the fairgrounds. Who's gonna win this year? Let's find out. The main horse in this race is going to be number two, Mandaloon. We all know who he is. We know what he's about possible derby winner I don't know we'll see what happens uh, how it all plays out in court going on with we all know who exactly so uh, sired by into mischief trained by Brad Cox and his band of merry merry horses shout out to the speed king uh, Florent Drew is gonna be in the irons and let's take a uh, look at his last race in the Haskell there at Monmouth Park on uh, July 17th, yes, it's been a while since he's been out on the track. All right, and this is the race on July 17, 2021, in which Mandaloon was declared the winner because Hot Rod Charlie clipped heels with Midnight Bourbon, therefore unseating Paco Lopez. Luckily, Paco Lopez and Midnight Bourbon were okay. Uh, Midnight Bourbon went around the track until he was tamed by one of the Outriders and Hot Rod Charlie and Mandaloon would battle it out to the wire with Hot Rod Charlie placing ahead. But after the sewers looked at the, the video again, he saw that he did come over two pass, therefore unseating uh, Paco Lopez from Midnight Bourbon. So he was disqualified and Mandaloon was declared the winner. All right, and Mandaloon sat off the pace in this one and uh, Wayburn and Dr. Jack were in the lead and he had to close pretty good to put them both away and Weyburn made it pretty interesting right here coming down on the wire but Mandaloon stayed ahead of him to get the win all right kind of a silly angle that I'm looking at but I noticed uh, last two races he's been in post position too and he's won even though one of them was by default so Third, third time's a charm, I guess. So, I mean, he should be winning this race. It's his race to lose. Uh, I really don't see Midnight Bourbon showing up to beat him. Uh, there is one horse, however. We're about to find out who. And I think he's got a strong, strong chance to run a really big race here and improve it on his speed figure. Let's see who that is. That's right, Mr. Fairgrounds himself, Emilio Estevez. No, I'm just kidding. It's a chess chief. But uh, 10 starts at the Fairgrounds, five wins, one second, and two thirds. Trained by Dallas Stewart, Relu Gutierrez. That's right, I can say that correctly. Not Gutierrez. But uh, last race there at the Fairgrounds on uh, December 26. Uh, he beat uh, Pirates Punch, who's also in this race, and Happy American. Uh, but in 2021 is a different story nine starts two wins and two-thirds and he, uh, He's hit the board four out of nine times. So I mean he's got a legit shot here to run big Against a uh, mandaloon and close it out. All right, let's talk about his workouts because he's had he has some pretty good workouts coming into this uh, race uh, December 17 uh, There at the fairgrounds he ran f uh, five furlongs in a minute and on January 8th, uh, he ran four furlongs and 48 flat. And January 14th, four furlongs again at 49 and six. So he's working out good coming into the race. Like I said, he's got a pretty good legitimate, legitimate chance at beating uh, Mandaloon. Uh, so hopefully he'll be able to close it out. I'm gonna be posting the wagers at the end of the video. I'm betting it two ways with Mandaloon winning and one with the uh, chess chief winning. So we'll see what happens because there's no odds currently on the DRF uh, past performance uh, sheet. So I don't know where he's going to be at. He might be close to, I'm not going to say right there at even money with Mandaloon, but he's going to be five to two, maybe hopefully seven to two, nine to two. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, not putting too much thought into this race. It's Mandaloon's race to lose. So we'll see what happens comes uh, Saturday in the Louisiana Stakes. But thanks for watching, like and, uh, and subscribe, share this video, comment, 
I know I've been saying that much, but please comment. Uh, tell me who you like. Disagree with me. Let's just have fun. But keep it uh, cordial. And uh, hopefully we'll catch this ticket come Saturday. All right, have a good one, everyone, and uh, stay safe out there.